It was Saturday night, and Haruko was still in the library of her university, completing a group project that was due next week. Her group project partner had ditched her again, leaving her to complete the entire project on her own. But Haruko didn't mind. She hadn't made any new friends ever since moving to the city to complete her studies. So spending the weekend studying wasn't all that bad. She looked at the time, saw it was close to 10 at night, and closed her textbooks and returned them to the shelves. The library was about to close, and she glanced at the librarian who stared at her wearily from her desk. Haruko gave a small smile and realized the librarian was waiting for her to leave so she could lock up the doors. Haruko returned to her table and picked up her books and bag. It was then that she heard a shuffling sound. She looked all around her, and right near the books on art history, she thought she saw a man watching her. She blinked, and he was gone. Haruko picked up her bag and walked out of the library, glancing back several times, but seeing no one else except for the librarian. She walked outside into the cool night air, and shivered. It was a quiet night, and she knew she shouldn't be roaming around alone in a new city at this time, but she willed herself to be brave. She wasn't a child anymore, who was afraid of the dark and needed her parents to hold her in their arms and tell her to not be afraid. Haruko sighed. She really missed them. She heard footsteps behind her and turned around. A figure in a dark hoodie entered an alley and she stopped. She was overcome with dread. Was someone following her? She hastened her steps, glad that her apartment was close by. She entered her building and into the safety of the bright lights of the lobby. Nothing could go wrong now. The security guard gave her a glance before returning to the video he was watching on his phone. Haruko entered the elevator and pressed the button for the 14th floor. As the doors were about to close, someone put their hand there to stop it. Haruko caught her breath as the doors opened and a tall, handsome man entered the elevator. His dark eyes looked at her appreciatively and a smile tugged at his lips. Haruko felt her cheeks grow warm as he greeted her in a friendly manner. Do you live on the 14th floor? He asked casually, glancing at the panel. Haruko could barely reply. She nodded, and wished she didn't feel so shy around him. I live on the 13th floor, he stated. He pressed the button, and when the doors closed again, he looked back at her and remarked, I like your outfit. Haruko could only smile, not trusting herself to speak coherently in front of a man she was already daydreaming about going on a date with. If only she knew how to show him she was interested in him, but she wasn't as bold as the other girls at her university. When the 13th floor arrived, the man took a step out and then paused to look at her. See you, he told her. Haruko meekly said, Sure, see you around. The man pulled a knife out of his jacket and grinned. Upstairs! Saying that, he rushed towards the stairs as the door to the elevator closed again. Haruko felt her insides turn cold. She took out her phone as the lift ascended to her floor. It was no use. She had barely dialed the last number for the police when the doors opened again. She screamed when she saw the man standing at the door. There was nowhere to run, and he plunged the knife into her chest. And her sweater was no longer plain white. The next morning, the neighbors found Haruko dead in the lift. The residents created an uproar on the safety measures that needed to be taken. Security cameras were installed, and more importantly, an emergency stop button on the elevator was added. Six months passed, and the elevator killer still had not been caught. The killer lauded himself for getting away with the perfect murder, and wondered if he could do it again, in the same building. He picked another Saturday night, and saw a woman waiting to get into the elevator all alone. He stood behind her making sure the security guard was still watching the game on his phone. 
He pulled his hoodie closer over his head when he noticed the cameras. The doors opened and the woman walked in. He followed her and this time stood back as she pressed the 14th floor. I live on the 13th, he told her as he pressed the button. The woman didn't respond. Her head was bowed and her hair covered most of her face. She was wearing a white dress and was barefoot, which he thought was odd. But her attire didn't concern him. He had a knife in his pocket that yearned to be used. The 13th floor arrived and he started to walk out, then paused as he said, See you. He stopped. The woman wasn't in the elevator anymore. He couldn't have imagined her, could he? The door to the elevator suddenly closed and the lights overhead crackled and dimmed. Upstairs, he heard a hiss. The man felt the hair on the back of his neck stand as a chill ran down his spine. He looked up and his eyes grew wide. The woman was crawling on the ceiling, her hair growing longer and slithering like snakes. Her eyes were blood red and her smiling mouth revealed several pointed teeth. He saw that her sweater had a splatter of blood on it, and then he recognized her. Haruko stretched out her arms and grabbed him by his neck, and then pulled him up into her waiting mouth. Uh-oh, geo-blocked. Looks like this clown could have avoided this issue if he'd only used Surfshark VPN. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers across 65 countries, allowing you to jump to almost anywhere in the world within seconds. Fully protected and fully private, you can safely download to your heart's content and not worry about anyone stealing your data. Regardless of what device you're on, Surfshark has you covered with no limit to the amount of devices you use or the amount of simultaneous connections you run, Surfshark gives you full protection across all of them, seamlessly. For security and the freedom to connect to content you can't normally see, get Surfshark today. Click the link in the description and use the promo code TAILS for a massive 83% off and three months extra for free. Thank you Surfshark, and thank you for supporting the channel.